and we're about to see two surfers that locked horns just recently at the ISA World Games do battle once again. Now at the Championship Tour level, it was Pauline Odo taking a gold medal and helping Team France to victory. Joanne Defay, she claimed silver over there in France just before making their way over here to Fiji. And, uh, well, they have met up at the CT level already this season. It was Joanne getting the jump on Pauline there. So a nice rivalry building between these two competitors as we cut to Joanne Defay on one of the first rides of this heat and a couple of big fans of spray thrown out other but certainly focused on getting the job done and getting through to the third round because this is just an awful round to find yourself in oh that round two is deadly and that's why joanne brings that aggression as she you know she takes it easy as she's approaching that lip and then really just lets it release be aggressive though because defay's opened up with a 6.33 and she's up once again up into the lip here. Bit Orkies riding out of that one. She yep. goes down. Orkies, for sure. We've seen a lot of waves win the battle and throwing surfers off throughout the day. Conditions have improved. Courtney. Lakey could catch fire after that round two performance. What do you think? I think Courtney and Carissa look good. I think Carissa, she posted a really solid heat score total. Yeah. And uh, I think she's still got a lot more to give. Yeah. Felt like she was just cruising to those big numbers. So watch out for her as we see Joanne up once again. Boy, she just gets out of that one. A, a bit of size in the lineup now, you can see. You've got to weigh up your options. Let's have a look at Joanne Defay. Beautiful opening turn. And then here she just had to really get out of that thing before it took sculpts that's where wow, wow that down the line. yeah you can Crazy. sit wide too if you can bank on those bigger set waves they do reel off down through shish kebabs but I know joanne was a little deep yeah it's almost you know should she have power down the line that section closed out so fast there's no way she was connecting to that little barreling section well here we go pauline now does well to make the open face. Let's see what kind of line she can draw. Swing that board through a couple of calves. No big major turn just yet. Let's see what kind of finish she, she can put on this one. So cleans it up at the end. That's her first wave. She'll just be happy to get on the board at this point. As we see Joanne up once again. So a lot of waves in this set. Faye draws off the bottom and whips that board under the lip. Second manoeuvre is decent. Just seems a little more comfortable with the pace of this ride than what Pauline did on the previous one. Need is an opportunity to figure this line about. You see that distance that Rand covers. I love the way she delays that bottom turn, but then just absolutely hooks into it. That little aggressive back foot the pressure that she applies just gives it that release her heel comes right off the tail pad and she sweeps underneath her you see pauline staying low and compact avoiding that white water monster and then really wants to find that same form that joanne has unfortunately you can see it's a bit more of a lateral maneuver for pauline that turn a bit more distinguished but she's going to have to get that bit of aggression that Joanne seems to display in her surfing to just lay into it as she releases the turn. Here we go, Pauline up once again. A deeper bottom turn sets up a stronger backhand snap in the pocket this time. A smaller wave, but she's surfing it very well at the moment. A neat combination through to the inside. And just figuring out this wave on the fly. working hard for points multiple maneuvers but she'll still be looking for just those steeper sections that allow her to throw a little bit more risk into her turns numbers coming through for Defay on that last ride an 8.33 when they started uh, collecting yep. 
it's almost like a fresh slate that he could just... Exactly. Collecting big wins all through last season. As we see now, Joanne DeFay up, trying to get rid of a 6.33. Good start to this ride. Vertical in the, the approach, but the wave is just fattening up. A little bit like me at the buffet, <laughs> and she'll kick out. <laughs> they should put a treadmill in here for both of us, and we just keep We have running. to pedal to keep the cameras rolling. Yes. We can be the human not a bad generators. Idea. You can dinky me, I'm not going to do any work. Here we go, Joanne <laughs> up once again. And she's just taking some chances now. She knows she's only looking to get rid of a 6.33. And she can do that with just two turns. So not looking for one of those big stretched out walls and without priority. That's the formula today, those two big maneuvers. She's learned so much in her three years on tour. Well, just on five seconds to go and Joanne picked this line up apart, kept busy without priority, kept upping the ante, and it's a solid heat score total that sees her make the jump through to round three with a third round two victory over her friend Pauline in 2017.